Today I'm going to show you how to make personalized lanyards with your Cricut in eight different designs. You're going to need to buy some lanyards in your color of choice. Lanyards come in lots of different thicknesses and colors, so it would be based on your own preferences. You're also going to need heat transfer vinyl in a color that matches your lanyard of choice and a heat press, preferably a mini heat press because it's easier to use for this project. In order to design our lanyards, we need to take some measurements. So get out your measuring tape and measure both the width of the fabric area and also the length of the lanyard itself from the metal piece all the way around to the other side. Note these dimensions down for later. All of the designs we're going to make will use a base template so that everything fits nicely onto our final product. We're going to use these lanyard measurements we took earlier to create the template. Open Cricut Design Space and head on over to the Shapes tab and create a square. To turn it into a rectangle, we go up to the top here to the little padlock, which allows us to modify the aspect ratio and change the width of our square to the lanyard width, which we measured earlier. Mine are 0.5 inches wide, but it will depend on the lanyards that you've purchased. Since I'm not using smart materials for this project and I want to cut my vinyl on a 12 by 12 mat, I'm going to cut our lanyards into four equal pieces. If we take the length of our lanyard, 32 inches, and we divide it by four, we will get eight. So we need to create four strips that are eight inches long. So we can adjust the height of our rectangle to eight, and then we're going to duplicate the long rectangle until we get four pieces. And these four pieces will cover the entire area of our lanyard. It's also much easier to press this way. Now we've made our template, we're ready to design our lanyards. Don't forget, you can use the chapters to skip ahead to your favorite design. First up, we have my favorite pattern, polka dots. We have our lanyard template, which we made earlier on the canvas. And we're going to go over to the images tab and type in the word polka dot pattern. We're looking for a pattern that has repeated dots in the design. So we could go for one like this, which is a bit plain, or we could have this regular shaped polka dot pattern, which is what I've gone for. Let's add this to canvas. And make the pattern white so it's easier to see. Our dots are a bit big, so let's click on the pattern, go to the top and type in the width of our lanyard, which is 0.5 inches to match our template. We're also going to need to rotate the design so it's vertical. So click on the pattern, hover your mouse over the corner here until you see that curved arrow. Hold shift down on your keyboard and click and drag until your design is vertical. Now place it over the top of the template like so, and we're going to duplicate the pattern and keep placing the design all the way down our template until we reach the bottom. It doesn't matter if it goes over. Now let's line everything up in a straight line with our template. So highlight all the layers on your layers panel and click a line and then center horizontally. Now we're going to make our polka dot design one entire layer. So click on all of the layers in the layers panel that say dots pattern. Go down to the bottom here and click combine and weld or combine and unite. Now we have two layers, our combined polka dot pattern in this strip and our lanyard template. Highlight both of these layers and we're going to click slice at the bottom which will cut the pattern out of the template. And see when I move the parts out of the way, that bottom hangover we had earlier is already separated. So we can delete that. We only want to keep our gray colored template piece here. Now remember we need four eight inch template pieces to match the 32 inch width of our lanyard. So right click and duplicate until you get four pieces with the polka dots. Now we're ready to make it. 
and I want to space my pieces apart a little bit on the mat so that I can separate them for pressing. And we need to mirror our design so it's in reverse. I'm using white heat transfer vinyl from HTV Ront for this one. I'm selecting everyday iron on and we stick our heat transfer vinyl onto the mat with the shiny side facing down on the mat. Our Cricut will cut it out and then we can weed the design. When weeding we're removing the rectangle outer piece leaving the dots behind. Then I'm going to cut each of the four pieces into strips, which makes it easier for us to press with our heat press. And I'm using the first heat setting on the press. Before you start pressing, iron out any creases on the lanyard and we want to make sure none of the lanyard fabric is twisted. It should make a nice triangle piece at the top here when you flatten it out. Place the first piece of vinyl on the front and press for 10 seconds. Then move the press further up and press for another 10 seconds, applying pressure. Repeat until that strip is completely pressed, removing the carrier sheet once everything is pressed on. Move up to the next blank area of lanyard and press just as you did before. Keep going until you reach the end of your lanyard and the dots are all pressed down. And you've made your very own classy black and white polka dot lanyard. Next up we have a holographic chevron pattern lanyard. We have our lanyard template here ready to go. Click on the images tab and type the word chevron pattern. I chose this one here, click add to canvas. We're going to measure this one by sight, so click the corner of your pattern and drag it until one set of the arrows fits across ways on your lanyard template. Then we're going to place it over the template until we're happy with the position. Highlight the pattern and the template and click align left to ensure they're perfectly lined up. And we're going to click slice at the bottom. We're only going to keep one of the slice pieces to make the rest of the lanyard. So take one of your lanyard templates Duplicate that chevron piece until it covers the whole template and it lines up perfectly. Now let's line everything up in a straight line with our template and click a line and then center horizontally. Highlight all of the chevron pieces and we're going to click weld to make it one entire piece. Highlight your template and the thin chevron piece you've just made and click slice. Remove the pieces that you don't need. And make four duplicates. When you click make it, separate them evenly on the mat, leaving space for you to cut in between and mirror your design. I'm using this blue holographic heat transfer vinyl from HTV Ront. Remember the vinyl goes shiny side down on the mat. Once cut out with your Cricut, weed the excess vinyl, leaving the chevron pattern behind and cut your pattern into four strips for easy pressing. Make sure you iron out any creases before pressing the vinyl. And then stick your heat transfer vinyl with the carrier sheet facing upwards onto the front of your lanyard. Press at 10 second intervals along your first strip until all of the vinyl has been pressed. Follow the same steps for the next strip of vinyl until all four pieces have been pressed. 
and here's our sparkly chevron pattern lanyard in blue holographic vinyl. Next I'm going to show you how to turn a logo into a lanyard. I have the lanyard template that we made earlier. Click upload on the left side of Cricut Design Space, then click upload image. Click and browse to locate your image of choice. Click complex and continue. Then on this screen, I'm going to use the magic wand tool to remove the background. And I'm using the eraser tool to remove this little TM because it will be difficult to cut. Then click apply and continue. Click the cut image on the left hand side and click upload. And we can click on the logo and click add to canvas down the bottom here. And here's our logo on the canvas. We want to rotate it so we can size it for our lanyard. Now resize the logo until it fits within your lanyard template width. I'm also changing it to white so I can see the design a little bit easier. I'm going to fit three logos onto one strip. So right click the logo and duplicate until you have three copies. Drag them over and place them across your template and we want to make sure that they're equally spaced. So we're going to click all three logos, go up to a line up the top here and click distribute vertically, which will evenly space them across the template. Click align and then center horizontally to make sure it's in the right spot. And then click attach to pin all of the logos together. You can delete your template at this point and then right click the attached three logos and duplicate until you have four pieces. Once you click make it, ensure they're equally spaced apart so we can cut them into strips. Make sure you mirror your design so the Cricut logo is cut backwards. I'm using this chameleon white vinyl and you'll place your iron on shiny side down on your mat, cutting in reverse. Weed your logo and cut the full pieces into strips for easy pressing. Iron out any creases on the lanyard before you begin pressing the vinyl and make sure the smooth metal side of the lanyard is facing up and you have removed any twists in the lanyard fabric. Place the first set of logos on the front of the lanyard and press each logo for 10 seconds, applying pressure each time you press. Then remove the carrier sheet. Repeat these steps until all of your logos are adhered to the lanyard. And there you have it, you've made your very own branded lanyard, which is perfect for marketplace events to stand out from your competition. Are you wanting to support a friend or family member going through a new diagnosis or treatment? This lanyard is perfect for fundraising or other supportive events. We have our lanyard template, which we made earlier. Click on the images tab and we're looking for the word cancer ribbon in the search bar. You want to look for one which has a solid color. It doesn't matter what color because we can change it in design space. And I'm going with this one. Click add to canvas. Let's resize it so it fits our lanyard width. So change the width to 0.45 inches and change the color to purple. Now let's add our text. Click the text button in the left hand panel of Cricut Design Space. Click from this drop down and I chose the Molly Sands font, but you can choose whatever font you like. Double click your text box and type out support squad. 
go up to the top and change the height of your text to 0.45 inches so it will fit on our lanyard. Then rotate the text. Change the color of your text to match the purple ribbon. And place your design across the lanyard template until you're happy with the placement. Click align and then center horizontally to make sure it's in the right spot. Now we're going to join the text with the ribbon so we can make an offset. Delete the template from behind your design. Highlight everything and click combine then weld or unite. And this will combine both the ribbon and our text. Go up to the top of Cricut Design Space and click Offset. Create an offset that is 0.05 inches thick or the width of your own lanyard. Click Apply. Change the offset color to white. Highlight both the offset and your design. Right click to duplicate and create four copies. Click make it and you should see a white mat with your offset, which I'm cutting from white heat transfer vinyl and a purple mat with your words and the ribbon, which I'm cutting from this purple glitter heat transfer vinyl. Make sure your designs are evenly spaced on the mat so you can cut them into strips for easy pressing. Ensure you mirror your design and place your heat transfer vinyl shiny side down on the mat. Cut it out with your Cricut, weed, and then cut the design into strips. Our white heat transfer vinyl will go down first, pressing for 10 seconds on each section, then remove the carrier sheet. After that, press your glitter vinyl on top of the white heat transfer vinyl, then remove the carrier sheet. Repeat these steps until the entire lanyard is covered in your design. And there you have it, a perfect support squad lanyard to support your loved ones during their health battle. Let's make a lanyard for our incredible nurses out there. In Cricut Design Space, we have our lanyard template we made earlier. Let's find the images we're going to use. So click on the images tab and type the word stethoscope. Now we don't want to pick a design with thin lines as it will be difficult to weed and also difficult to see from a distance, but pick one that you like. I went with this one, then type in heartbeat Again, we want thicker lines and I went with this one, which has a heart in the middle. And let's add them to canvas. We're going to rotate our image so that it fits along the lanyard. And let's change the size to 0.4 inches so it fits our lanyard width. With the stethoscope, I'm going to keep it upright and just change the width to 0.4 inches to fit the dimensions of our lanyard. Now let's add text. Click the text button, drag it over here so we can see it, and click the font box up the top. And I've used the font BFC Fashion Statement, but you can choose whatever font you like. Double click on the text box and type out registered nurse or whatever words you'd like to use. Now we want to make sure that the width is no more than 0.4 inches, so resize it. And we can also rotate it like we did with the image earlier. Line up the images and words alternating like so. I've repeated the word twice.
Once you're happy with the placement, highlight everything and click align center horizontally so that it places it in a straight line. Then click the two images and the words and click weld to make them one entire piece. This will also make sure that the cursive letters that are touching will also join and cut as one single word. You can delete the template at this point. Then right click and duplicate your design until you have four pieces. When we get to the matte screen, we're going to separate each of the designs so we can cut them as strips. Don't forget to mirror your design. I'm cutting this from a gold metallic heat transfer vinyl from HTV Ront. And place your vinyl shiny side down on the mat. Weed everything and cut the vinyl into these strips for easy pressing. And we're ironing out any creases on the lanyard before we press anything. Place your first strip down and press each section for about 10 seconds. Then remove the carrier sheet. Repeat these steps until the entire lanyard is covered in your design. And there you have it, a perfect nurse lanyard to add your own style. Next up, we're making this super cute leopard print lanyard. Starting on the canvas with our lanyard template we made earlier, go to the images tab and type the word leopard print. I'm using this one here because it has two layers but you can choose whichever one you like. Click Add to Canvas. Place the leopard print over the top of the template and click and drag to make the pattern smaller until you're happy with how it fits. Let's duplicate our template so we still have a spare. Right click, duplicate. We're going to slice, but we can only slice two layers at a time. So we need to separate the leopard print. Click the leopard print in the layers panel and ungroup. Highlight the template and one of the pieces of the pattern and click slice. Then do the same with the other leopard print piece. Delete your extra slice pieces so you have just the black and brown pattern. Drag it to your template and make another continuation of the same pattern. Highlight only the black pieces and click weld to make them one single strip. Then do the same for the brown pieces. Duplicate until you have four lanyard strips that should be eight inches long with the leopard print pattern on them. When we click make it, we should have a brown and black mat. Make sure you separate them a little bit on this matte screen so you can cut them into strips. Don't forget to mirror your design. I'm cutting the brown from this bronze glitter heat transfer vinyl from HTV Ront and I'm cutting the black parts from regular black heat transfer vinyl and place the vinyl with the shiny side facing down on the mat, cutting from behind. Cut them out with your Cricut and weed the vinyl. Then cut them into strips for easy transfer. 
So we're putting the black vinyl down first, pressing for 10 seconds on each section and applying pressure. And then I'm pressing the glitter vinyl on its second. When we press the glitter parts, you need to make sure that you have it the right way around and they need to fit neatly inside each of the black pieces. And here's our leopard print lanyard to bring some pizzazz to your style at work. Now let's make a personalized cloud lanyard. With our lanyard template, which we made earlier, open the images tab in the left side panel. Search for the word cloud. I chose these three clouds from Design Owl. And once selected, we can add to canvas. Rotate your clouds so they're vertical, like the template. And let's evenly space them across the lanyard template, leaving space for a name to go in between. We're also going to change all of the clouds to a white color. So go up here next to the operation section and change it to white. And this will match the white heat transfer vinyl that we're going to use. Click on the text tab and drag it over so we can see our font. Pick the font from this drop down and you can choose whatever font you like. And then we're going to resize the text to 0.45 inches. Rotate the text so it's vertical like our clouds. And arrange the clouds, alternating cloud, then name, then cloud, then name, then cloud. Once you're happy with the placement, highlight everything and click align, then align horizontally. You can delete the template at this point and then we can click the clouds and go down to the bottom and click combine and then weld. Then we can click the three names and click weld and this will make sure the cursive font is all joined together. And then duplicate your design until you have four pieces. Now when I click make it, I have a white mat with my equally spaced clouds and I have my blue mat. Spread the lines on your mat out a little bit so you can cut them into strips for easy pressing. Don't forget to mirror your design and place your heat transfer vinyl on the mat with the shiny side facing down. Cut it all out and weed your vinyl. And then cut these lines into even strips. Iron out any creases on your lanyard before you start pressing. Place your first strip down with the names and press each section for about 10 seconds. Then remove the carrier sheet. Place the clouds down and press each section for about 10 seconds. Repeat until the lanyard is completely pressed. And there you have a beautiful personalized name lanyard with some cute clouds. Last up, we have a lanyard for a special teacher. Starting in Cricut Design Space with the template we made earlier, head over to the images tab in the left hand panel. Now the images you choose to put on your teacher lanyard will depend on the type of teacher you're making this for. Choose something that's personalized for the individual. When picking an image, make sure it has thicker lines so it's easier to cut, weed and fit onto your lanyard. Once you've chosen your image, add to canvas and we're going to resize them to fit the width of our template and we can also rotate it. Thank you. 
Now let's do the text. Click the text button in the left hand panel of Cricut Design Space and drag your text box over to the right. Choose a font that you like from this drop down. I went with BFC Autumn Harvest which has a whimsical feel. Double click your text box and type the teacher's name. Go up to the top and change the height to 0.45 inches so it will fit our lanyard width. Rotate the text. Line everything up on the lanyard template the way you think looks best. It's up to you whether you want the images and name to be the same colour or different colours. I went with white heat transfer vinyl for the ruler and pencil and then the name in a darker blue. Then highlight everything and click align, align horizontally to keep it all in a straight line. You can delete your template at this point. Now we're going to attach the ruler and pencil layer. Let's make four copies of our design to cover the full length of the lanyard. After clicking make it, you should have a white mat with the objects and a blue mat with the name. Spread the images out a little bit so you can cut them into strips later for easy pressing. Make sure to mirror your design and place the clear carrier sheet facing down on the mat. Once cut, weed your vinyl and cut them into strips for easy pressing. Place your strip down with the white vinyl and press for 10 seconds on each of the decals, then remove the carrier sheet. Then press the names for 10 seconds and repeat these steps until the entire lanyard is covered in your design. And you've made a wonderful personalised teacher's lanyard, which is a perfect accompaniment to an end of year appreciation gift. I hope you've managed to find a style that you like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on the bell notification to receive updates when we post new content. Thanks for watching.